Hello, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up landscape layers in Unreal Engine, how to paint those landscape layers onto your landscape, and then how to blend naturally between those two layers, not just based on opacity, but the actual height data of your materials so that they have a more natural blend together. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'll do here is make a material to start with. I'll right click in the empty space, choose a material and call it M for material underscore landscape blend. Then we'll go ahead and drag that onto the landscape material input for a landscape. And I'll double click on that material to open it. Once I'm in there, the first thing that I wanna do is come over here to the settings on the left side after I click on the material card here. And we're gonna go and choose use material attributes. This is gonna collapse that material input down so that it inputs not just elements from a material, but a whole material input. This way we can have multiple materials getting blended in one material. So next I need to actually make a material blend node. So I'll go ahead and right click and type in landscape layer blend and we'll choose that option here. And by default, you will not see really many options for inputs and that's because we still need to add that to the node. So I'll come over here to the left side and under layers here, choose the plus button and I'll click it twice to make two layer inputs. And these inputs that you add to this layer node are what is gonna show up in your landscape painting layers when we get to that step later on. I'm gonna come over and expand these to indexes here and we'll go ahead and name these layers and I'm gonna have the first layer be sand and the second layer I'm gonna call pebbles. And this could be whatever type of material you are planning to blend in this master material. And I'll have the output going into the landscape layer blend here. And now I'm ready to input my two material options to paint in my landscape layers. So in order to make those materials, we need to create a make material node. So I'll go ahead and type in make. And here we wanna choose make material attributes. We'll click on that and we can see it creates a version of this first landscape material card that we started with that we collapsed. Now we have a second one here and we can duplicate it and make two of them and plug them into these inputs in the layer pebbles and the layer sand. And this is where we will input all of the textures and other material logic that we plan to use to make our material. Next, I'll go ahead and drag in the textures I'm planning to use for each material. So I'll go ahead and drag in my sand material, textures, and my pebbles. Next, I need to go ahead and connect up my textures. These are textures I got from Megascans materials. So they are input as follows. I have my color texture that's going into base color. I have my packed texture here that has ambient occlusion saved in the red channel. So I'll go ahead and plug that into ambient occlusion. Then it has roughness saved in the green channel. So I'll go ahead and plug that into roughness. And the blue channel, which is very important for this particular material because its height is gonna go into to displacement if you're using displacement and you're setting that up. And the normal map will of course go into the normal input. We'll do exactly the same for these other textures really quick. And that's it. Now we have our layers completely set up in our material. So we can go ahead and hit save here and come back over to our landscape. And by default here, everything will be black. And that is because there is still no information in your landscape about which parts of the landscape should be which layers from your material. So if you've already gone ahead and assigned your landscape material to the landscape and you haven't painted any layers yet, it should show up black. But we can fix that by coming over here to the drop down in the top left corner and choosing the landscape section. Now, the tab that we want to move over to is the paint tab. And under the paint tab, you should see under layers here, the two layers or however many layers you went ahead and added to your landscape blending node inside of your material. If it's in the material and the material has been added to the landscape, those inputs will show up here. So the first thing we need to do in order to paint on our landscape is add data into each of these layers, basically give it an asset to save the information of where we paint those landscape layers so it knows how to blend between them. So I'll come over here to the layers and I'll go ahead and hit the plus button and we are gonna choose weight blended layers. And I usually just save it where it naturally saves that asset. It'll name it for you. Then go ahead and hit the plus button on the other layer and choose weight blend as well. 
So once we've created our layer info assets, you should see your base material showing up on your landscape here. And all we need to do to go ahead and paint our new layer on top of it is go ahead and click on the layer that we want to paint, whichever layers you set up in your material, and then you can go ahead and paint it. And there's a few options here in the left where you can adjust the strength of the tool and the size of the brush or the fall off to give you a little bit more control of how you want to paint those layers. Now this is looking really good and we can go ahead and paint all of our landscape using this method. However, there is a way to have these materials blend together a little more naturally. For example, you can see here on the edges of these two materials where they're coming up against each other and blending, it's pretty much this very gradual, very smooth blend between those two materials and it kind of gives it this flat look. It doesn't quite look like these materials are interacting in the way they would in the natural world where the sand is not just slowly blending over with opacity, but it's getting caught in the crevices. It's actually, there's more sand in the lower areas of the texture and where the rocks pop out, there's less sand on top of those rocks. So the way we blend these materials like that in a little more natural of a fashion is by blending them based on the height data from your textures. So let's jump back into our material here. We're gonna come over here to the landscape layer blend node and we're gonna click on it. And we can see that the blend type being used right now is weighted blend. And that is why when the materials are blended together, there's just a smooth blend between them because it's really just blending on weight, whether it's uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, whatever the weight of the layer is right there, that's how it will blend between them. So we can switch this from blending in that way to blending based on a height blend and we'll go ahead and switch both layers to height blending and you can see that it pops out these second pins for the actual height data that we can input so we'll go ahead and grab that height data whether it's a single height texture that you're using or this blue channel from a mega scans packed texture we'll go ahead and plug those into both height inputs and we'll go ahead and hit save and right away you will see a more natural looking blend here it's still pretty gradual but it's starting to respect the height of the materials a little bit better. But we can push it further and give a little bit more control to how the heights are interacting with each other. Now there's a bunch of different ways that you could go about doing this. The way that I found to be most straightforward is to add a bunch of nodes to modify the original height data from the texture or it goes into the blending input on this landscape layer blend node. We can set up a bunch of functions to adjust the contrast of that height map, the black and white values, we can adjust those and those will give us more control over actually how those height maps interact with each other when they get into the layer blend. I'll come over here to my pebbles texture here and I'll disconnect its height from the height input in the layer blend. And in between, we're gonna put a three point level node. So I'm going to right click and type in three point levels. What this does is lets us take the height input here by plugging it into texture. What this lets us do is modify the data of the texture and gives us a little bit more control over its contrast and its blend of white and black values or dark and light values. It gives us control over those by choosing three points in the texture, which is why it's called a three point node, choosing three points, the black value, the white value, and the gray value, and letting us move those around and therefore modify the look of the texture that's going into the height input. We have the texture plugged in here. We just need to make some parameters that we can adjust in a material instance. So I'll go ahead and create some parameters by holding down S and making one for black point and we'll make that a zero by default. I'll hold down S and click again to make a gray point and that of course will be 0.5 for gray values by default and we'll go ahead and hold down S again and make a new parameter and this one will be called white point. And you guessed it by default, we'll make that a one for white values. Okay, so we'll go ahead and plug those in here to the new black value, the new middle value into gray, and the new white value into white point. Okay, once I have all of these inputs connected to the three point level node, I can go ahead and plug this node into the height input 
for the landscape layer blend. And we'll go ahead and save this material. Now we'll jump out and we wanna make a material instance for this master material so that we can modify those parameters we set up to fine tune our blend. So I'll right click on the material and create a new material instance and we'll call it MI for material instance landscape layer blend. And we'll go ahead and hit enter and we'll drag that new material instance onto our landscape material input. And it should look the same because it's basically based on the same master material, but now we can open up that material instance and you should see your parameters you set up, which are the black point, gray point, and white point. And we'll go ahead and click those on. And now you can just play around with these values to fine tune the blend. So I'll jump to the gray point here and start lowering it down. And you can see we're getting this beautiful height respecting blend between the rocks where the higher rocks are poking out through the sand and it has a much more natural look to it. And I can lower it even more to make it even more aggressive. And we can also play with the white point here. And there we go, we have a much more natural looking blend for our landscape layers. And you could make any number of adjustments to any number of landscape layers in this fashion and blend all of them using height. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you did in the comments. If you want to learn more from me, I teach stuff like this over in the Agile Art Academy, which is a blend of coaching, private community, and all my courses. If you're interested in that, you can find a link in the description. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one.